Welcome to the plus add on tutorial. Today we're gonna demonstrate testimonial. First of all, there are various styles and various options in testimonials. You can choose from. You can see all the demos available on our site. To make testimonials, first of all, you need to create a custom post type. For the custom post type, you need to go to the the plus settings from there you have the post type settings in the post type in the select post type type you have the option to disable if you don't want to, to use the testimonials or any other post type you can disable it then you have the option for the the plus post type that will be our default and then you have the option for the pre-built theme based post type that means if you have any theme and if you have already any custom post type related to testimonials and if you want to show all the details from that post type you can choose that from here now if you select the the plus post type it have the default post type name the plus testimonial if once you select this and save you will have a new post type called tp testimonials it will have all the items add new uh, category options if you want to change the name currently it's a the plus underscore testimonial if you want to change the name you can put that name over here and the category taxonomy here and if you have any theme already and if you want to use that you can see The post type name from here. You just need to copy that post type name from this to here and the taxonomy from there to here. Once you put these both and you will save that custom post type will be connected. For this one, we will keep the post type as it is. We will keep it same. Once you select this. You have the custom post type over here. From there, you need to add some testimonials. You can put the title here. Let's see already pre built demo. In the title, you need to put the name. Then there will be author text, which will be which will be count as a testimonial then there is a title you also have the option for the logo designation logo might be used in some styles and some styles it will not be useful there will be a designation you need to up upload profile image from this option then you can create the category and select for those from here you just need to upload once you have all the items are ready, <coughs> then you need to use the testimonial widget. In the testimonial widget, in the content tab, there is the option for the style. There are total four styles available. You can see the styles here. You have the four styles. Then you have the content source option. From the content source, you can select the category. All the categories will be available here, and you can display the testimonial as per the. Then there is the maximum post display option, like how many pro posts you want to display. Then there is the offset post. That means how many posts in the beginning you want to remove. For example, the, this is the first post, and you will put the one. Then this, uh, then the listing will start from the second post. Then you have the option for the order by. You have the option for the ascending, descending. Then for the SEO purpose, there is the option for the title tag. In the style tab, <coughs> there is the option for the Titles typography. It includes all the font family. 
font size, weight, transform, style, decoration, line height, and letter spacing. And font size, line height, and letter spacing options are available for the responsive. Then you have the title color for the normal and hover. There is the extra title which is available for the it's a typography and the normal and hover color options. Again for the designation in the accept. Now there is the content background option in which you have the margin option which is the responsive. Here you also have the inner padding border radius options available. After that you have the option for the background color which is for the normal and for the hover then different style have the different elements for example in this style one that is the down arrow you can you will have the option for that down arrow as well then there is the option for the box arrow for the normal and for the hover after that you have the featured image option from there you could have the radius option you can make it the way you want then you have the box head option for the featured image as well for the normal and hover condition after that you have full fledged carousel option in the carousel options you have the horizontal and vertical vertical is coming soon then you have the slide, slide speed option then you have the column option for the desktop, tablet and the mobile. You can select the next previous animation for the one column or all visible columns at that time. Then you have the slide padding. If you have a two columns then you can adjust the spacing in between two testimonials using this option. Then you have the options for the draggable, infinite mode, pause on hover, adaptive height, autoplay. If you turn on the autoplay, there will be option for the autoplay speed. Then you have the various styles for the dots and various styles for arrows. You can select those from here and all have their cosmetic options at underneath the option. Then there is the center mode option available. In the center mode, you need to select more than one columns. You can see the example over here. In the center mode, you need to select the odd columns. Like in this example, we have selected three. Then you have the center padding option. According to this padding option, other slides will get arranged you can see if you increase this the more slide will be visible then you have the option for the scale of the center slide you can increase it if you want and you have the scale option for the normal slide you can adjust that as well you also have the normal slide opacity option so if you want to change it you can adjust that like for example let's choose Point one and it will be almost invisible. You also have the option for the number of rows. After that, in the extra options, you have the messy column option. For the messy columns, we have the example like this. In the messy column you can adjust the padding from the top for example in the column 1 we have selected 10 for the column 2 we have selected 80 and the for column 3 we have selected 120 keep in mind about messy columns you need to select the column values for the column selection you made on the top for example in this we have selected only three columns then you need to select this value for 3 only. You need not to select for the 4, 5 and 6. So these are the options to keep in mind while uh, playing with the messy columns. After that 
you have the on scroll view animation these animation uh, effect have lots of other options and for this we have made separate video you can check it out in our channel there is also advanced options which are the default from the elementor and hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on testimonial subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video